Chapter 4 Counting in Tens From Mathematics Textbook for Class 2 Titled Math Magic Page 24 Chickens and the Clever Fox This page has a story and few questions based on the story. The story is presented in three rectangular boxes. First two boxes have pictures along with text. There is no picture in third rectangular box. Let's begin reading this page. Chickens and the Clever Fox Box 1 Tiklu Farmer has many chickens in her farm. One day, a clever fox saw these naughty chickens playing around. The picture in box 1 shows three chickens and one fox. Box 2 From that day, she started stealing and eating chickens every day. Tiklu came to know about it. She asked the fox, Hey, do you eat my chickens? Fox replied, No, dear, I'm your friend. How can I eat your chickens? The picture in box 2 shows Tiklu and Fox talking to each other. Box 3 Text Tiklu thought of counting her chickens every morning and evening. But the chickens kept moving around here and there. She said, I will put ten chickens in one basket and count them. And if I find any of them missing, I will give the fox a tight slap. Page 25 Story continues. This page is divided into two parts. Part 1 shows Tiklu and her chickens in the morning and Part 2 presents Tiklu and her chickens in the evening. Part 1 In the morning, she counted her chickens. The picture shows five baskets of chickens. Each basket contains ten chickens and Extra four chickens moving around the baskets. Question 1. How many baskets of ten chickens are there? Question 2. How many chickens are there in all? 50 plus 4 is equal to dash. Fill in your answer in the space provided. Part 2. In the evening, she counted the chickens again. Picture shows four baskets of chickens, each basket containing ten chickens, a fox and three chickens around Tiklu. Question 1. There are dash baskets of ten chickens. Question 2. There are dash plus three is equal to dash chickens in all. Question 3. 54 minus dash is equal to dash chickens have been eaten by the fox. Fill in your answers in the spaces provided. Page 26. How many are these? This page has story of Bhanu. There are three pictures on this page. Let's begin reading this page. Bhanu collects Sticks from the jungle. He sells them in the market. He uses 10 sticks to make one bundle. Picture 1 shows Bhanu making a bundle of 10 sticks. Picture 2 shows 3 bundles of sticks. Question 1. 3 bundles have dash sticks. Give your answer in the space provided. Picture 3 shows 3 bundles and 9 loose sticks. Now, how many sticks in all are there? Dash, sticks in all. Give your answer in the space provided. Question 3. 4 bundles would have dash, sticks. 
Give your answer in the space provided. Footnote Before doing these exercises, ask children to represent numbers by making bundles of 10 with the help of material such as sticks or beads. Help them link these concrete objects to written symbols and oral names of the numbers. Page 27 there is a wedding in Malti's house. She is making flower garlands. She uses ten flowers to make one garland. A picture shows Malti making flower garlands. Few flower garlands are arranged neatly in front of her in two rows and some loose flowers scattered around the garlands. First row has five garlands and eight loose flowers. Question. So there are dash flowers in all. Give your answer in the space provided. Second row has six garlands and seven loose flowers. Question. How many flowers are these? Dash flowers in all. Give your answer in the space provided. Next question. How many garlands of 10 flowers each can you make using 21 flowers? Give your answer in the space provided. Page 28. This page presents conversation between Leela and her mother with the help of picture and texts. Let's begin reading this page. Leela's mother speaking. Leela, can you see all these pencils? How many are these? If you make a good guess, all these will be yours. Picture shows six packets of pencils kept in the Almira. Each packet contains ten pencils. Four pencils are kept above the Almira. This Almira has five shelves. Mother is standing in front of Almira with Leela peeking from behind her mother. Let us help Leela. Question 1. How many packets of 10 pencils are there? Question 2. How many pencils are outside the packets? Question 3. So, altogether, there are dash pencils. Give your answers in the space provided. Page 29. This page has two pictures and some details about a girl named Kanak. Let's read this page. Kanak likes collecting different kinds of bindis. Picture 1 shows Kanak and seven packets of bindis in different colors and shapes. Each packet has ten bindis. Question 1. How many packets does she have? Question 2. So, how many bindis in all? Give your answers in the space provided. In each packet, bindis are arranged in three rows. Row 1 has three bindis, row 2 has four bindis, and row 3 has three bindis. In this manner, each packet has three plus four plus three bindis. Question 3. Now, you draw ten bindis in a different way. Picture 2 has empty space in rectangular box for drawing the bindis and a girl standing at the right-hand side of this box. Footnote. Discuss the strategy used by children for guessing. Encourage them to count in tens. Also make children notice that 10 bindis can be arranged in different patterns. You may ask children to try different arrangements using 10 bindis. You may ask children to try different arrangements using 10 bindis, which are visually easy to count. Mm -hmm.